So, hi guys and gals, last time I left you we had some perfectly textured models with all the textures in the right place, uh, but they didn't look quite right, did they? They had this suspicious little line here that got darker. And uh, this is caused by the edge of the UVs meeting, but being at different places in the lighting. So if the light is approaching from this direction, this will be facing a different direction. And basically you'll get this line where one's receiving more light than the other, and that's not what we want. So, let's get started on removing that suspicious line here. First thing we want to do is join all the meshes together. Now meshes are the individual parts which make up a model. So for example if I select this one I can move that freely. If I select this one I can also move that freely. We want to join them all together so that there's no line there and they're all nice and smooth instead of being disjointed like they are now currently. If I switch to solid you can clearly see that these are all disjointed meshes. So first thing we want to do is of course join them together so if I hit that click right click that one shift right click that one and shift right click that one I can then either hit control J on my keyboard or I can go to object and join and just like that they'll all be joined that they're, they're all three combined now that doesn't solve our angle problem though because what's happening here is the models have two vertices in one place so if I switch to this one, you'll see this point is selectable twice, one on that side and one on that side, and we want to fix that. Luckily, Blender makes this really easy. If we hit the A key on our keyboard, select all our vertices, then go to Mesh, Vertices, and Remove Doubles, any duplicated vertices will be merged into one. So now you can see we do not have that line here. That line is now gone. We've now got, a, now got a nice smooth mesh here, which is what we wanted. I've escaped to get out of the render. But you've now noticed we've lost our UVs. They're all now buried in here. If I want to select the eyes, you know, I can't select the eyes mesh. So we're stuck on that point. Luckily, there's still a way around this. If you go to your settings here, there'll be a little thing that says object data up here. Now we want to change, we want to add the eyes to a particular vertex group because these are sets of vertices and we want to make a set of vertices just for the eyes. So if we hit the plus key down here and then make a vertex group called eyes we can then go around and select all the faces which make up the eyes and then assign those to a vertex group which will in turn help us change the eye pattern on the UVs. Now we don't want to select each individual vertice because that would take forever. If you go down here we've got three choices and these basically filter what we can select in the edit mode. So for example this one we're on now we can only select vertices. This other one if I click that we can only select edges. They're all very long and tedious. If we hit the faces we can basically select individual faces which as you'll see over here map up on the UV map. So all I want to do is shift click around and get every vertice or face even involved in the eyes to be on this vertex group. So if I click around these, click around here, I will be able to uh, basically assign all these to a particular group and then it will just be a simple matter of selecting the group whenever I want to change the UVs. So they're all selected there. Ooh, I've missed around here actually. There we go. So now they're all selected around here. And if we hit assign next to that when we're while we're selected on the eyes vertex group, we've now assigned the eyes to a vertex group. So I can deselect them, and then I can select them again if I click on the eyes vertex group here and click select. There we go. Easy as pie. And we can do that for the mouth one as well. So we, so we might as well. Because after all, me mouth. Me mouth, sorry. Terrible pun there. Got to get used to them. If we want to select more than one face and select kind of like in a box, if we hit B on our keyboard, we come with this little box thing. This, this little crosshairs pattern here. And we can click and drag and select like that. Now obviously we've selected a few here we don't want because those aren't part of the mouth. I don't think these down here are either. And uh, we can see that they weren't because they were appearing on a different UV map. We're now appearing on the main one and we didn't want that. So if we unselect those and select the ones down here manually, we've saved ourselves a lot of time. 
So that's done there. If we create a new vertex group, call it mouth, press enter, hit assign, so we're assigning all that's selected to the mouth vertex group. Tab out of, sorry, not tab out of that. We're assigning all to the vertex group. We can still move around our UVs and they will still be changed and they will still appear on the render just like that. That's pretty much all there is to this one. Pretty easy. My next tutorial will be on armatures. A uh, button will appear on the screen about now, showing you um, eventually when I put that video up how to deal with armatures. Uh, but that's basically all there is for this one. Uh, you've made a nice smooth mesh. It'll appear nice and smooth and uh, I'd, I'd look forward to see what you do with this. There's a download link for the models in the description. That's subject to Nintendo's terms and conditions, but you can read that on the website. Uh, that's about it. Let me know in the comments how I've done uh, and anything else you want. Uh, until then, I guess it's uh, peace.